today is day six in Dubai. Yesterday was a little bit of a bummer because it started raining and uh, we were at Expo City. We couldn't cover everything there because of the rains. Uh, so we had to cut short our time there and instead we went to the Mall of the Emirates, which is an indoor place and one of the uh, largest and the most popular malls in Dubai. So we did a little bit of shopping and had dinner there and then called it a night. Today seems uh, pretty sunny. The weather seems good today. You can actually see the sun on my face right now. And hopefully today we can do things that are as per our plan. Our first spot for the day was the Museum of the Future, which is the latest addition to the technological advancements in Dubai built in February 2022. It is an exhibition space for innovative and futuristic ideologies, services and products. We took a metro to the Emirates Tower metro station and walked all the way to the Future Museum. This is what the entrance looks like. I'm a digital president of the Museum of the Future. Welcome to my home. Like everything you see here, I was envisioned by the Dubai Future Foundation and brought to life by storytellers, visionary technologists and artists from around the world. The demand to visit this place is so high that you need to book your tickets two months in advance as the slots fill up real quick. The ticket price is 149 dirhams, which is approximately 40 US dollars or 3,300 rupees. The Future Museum is divided into five chapters. The first chapter is OSS Hope, which is located on the fifth floor. To access this, you have to go in a space shuttle that looks like this. The entire museum has three main elements to it, green hill, building and void. The first chapter, which is OSS Hope, gives you a glimpse into the missions, discoveries and inventions of OSS Hope that have been undertaken off late. The 3D walls that you will be surrounded with are made from recycled material. Chapter 2 is called the Heal Institute, which is located on the fourth floor. You will be walking through a marvelous digital Amazon forest and will be gasping at the remarkable DNA library of 2000 plus species as you learn more about the negative effects of climate change. Okay, so we have this device that scans 2400 species here and when you scan it, if it turns white, that means the species will survive. If it turns red, that means it's going to be extinct very soon. Let's try. So it turned white here and you have information about this particular species and this means that this species is going to survive. Regarding the rest, I'll have to check it out now. The third chapter is called the Al Baha, which is situated on the third floor. It is also called the Oasis, which is a place for you to disconnect from technology and revive your senses as you walk past a bunch of interactive sessions. For me, the favorite one was the meditation room where you can sit for a few minutes and meditate as much as you want. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Museum of the Future. What is your name? My name is Anika. I'm a humanoid robot and I work for the Museum of the Future. Do you have any question for me? Chapter 4 is all about Tomorrow Today which is located on the second floor. You can explore the various changes the world has seen with the technological leap since the year 2022. The focus is on leading our planet to a better tomorrow so sustainability plays a very big part here. The last chapter, which is chapter 5, is called Future Heroes, which is located on the first floor. This is mainly for children, for them to see the final leg of the tour and let their imagination run wild as they engage in various interactive sessions. We didn't have access to this as adults, so we went to the observatory or the viewing deck, which is located on the last floor of the Museum of the Future. Then we went all the way to the ground floor, which has a souvenir shop, which also looks quite futuristic, by the way. There's also a cafe, which has a robot serving you coffee, and there are some other cool features on the ground floor as well. They also have a robot making a coffee here for you. You can choose your coffee, scan the QR code, pay for it, and you will have your coffee ready. There were some virtual reality activities going on and for me the most interesting was the perfume making. You can make your own perfume here based on your personality so there's a test that you need to give and based on your personality test they recommend you uh, an amalgamation of oils to make your own perfume. This is the view of the outside of the future museum and it's the best view to get some really good pictures. We also came across this food truck or food pop-up of sorts called Salt which looked quite cool but was really overpriced so we headed to a place near our hotel for lunch and had an amazing Lebanese 
lunch with uh, falafel wraps, polenta fries, and some zatar cheese bread. After a heavy lunch, we went back to our hotel, rested for a while, freshened up, and left again in the evening for the city walk. This is more like an open air mall slash entertainment center where you have multiple different shops and you also have a stage where tons of performances happen. It's quite a lively atmosphere here and they also have this Coca Cola arena where all the concerts take place. We mainly came here to see Quick Style perform. <laughs> After watching their amazing performance, we took a quick walk around the city walk area and then headed towards the Dubai Mall where we had our gala dinner. This gala dinner was a one of a kind as we wanted it to be super special for the entire group. So we had it with a Burj Khalifa view and the Dubai fountain view. This was what it looked like. Post dinner, we went to the timeout market to have a couple of drinks and have some fun on this night with the Burj Khalifa view again. And then we went to party on the Barasti beach. On this day, the entry was completely free, so we took advantage of that. That's pretty much the end of my day 6. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next Wednesday.